artists on instagram listen up because in this video we're going to be talking about a very important topic that affects everyone and we really need to wrap our head around this and i'm going to be drawing um the image you saw at the beginning of the video throughout this uh video so i won't get you bored and you won't just leave the video without having anything to look at so i came across this story while browsing casually on instagram from abdullah mo3 that's his instagram handle and he's someone that i've been following for a while if you don't know him he's a really fantastic character designer he does really amazing work and the story was if there were no likes or comments on social media would you still post art we we'll love to discuss and so i decided to make a video on it with his permission of course so let's take this into deep consideration Right now, I think Instagram has made an update where you don't see likes on your posts or on posts of other people. You just see uh, this post was liked by so and so and so. It will leave the names of some people you follow and others. That's how Instagram is doing it now. Although there's still uh, some updates where there's still some countries where they haven't made this update. Or if you haven't updated your phone, you might still be seeing likes on your instagram so if you're experiencing that don't, don't worry there's nothing wrong with you now what i think about this is when i think about this story when you're starting out as an artist on instagram definitely you're not going to be thinking about likes because it just doesn't make any sense if you're a new artist if you're a beginner artist you shouldn't even be thinking of likes at all you should just be thinking of how to grow yourself how to grow your skill how to improve and become a better artist before you can now then begin to think of how to market yourself and become say how to start getting clients how to market yourself to become hireable by people you know, start doing commissions and start making money with your craft because eventually i feel like that's what uh, a lot of us that are getting into this are pretty much getting into it for either to get work in a studio or to become successful on your own doing art making money from doing your art so when you begin your main focus should be on improving your skills you're improving your 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 art making sure that your art is really top notch really high quality art so you should be looking at uh a lot of other artists that you you should draw inspiration from top tier high level professional artists those should be the first people that you're looking at when i first started out on instagram my eyes were definitely not even looking at the numbers i mean i could see them and they were really small like everyone else that's experiencing this right now but I, I wasn't focusing on just having a lot of numbers because even if i had numbers and my skill wasn't good no one would want to hire me so i focused more on trying to improve my skills trying to make sure that i could be able to create work that someone would want to pay for that a studio would want to hire you to draw or create characters for uh do comic books for or something so first off i decided to focus more on my skills so i joined the crimson daggers and started uh watching dave work watching the other artists in the group work uh putting up my art listening to other people's art get critiques and it was really hardcore there so I feel like that's uh, the same path, the same mindset that artists right now should develop to pretty much improve their skills first before you begin to start uh, thinking of how many likes you're getting on an image, which is a really bad way for you to be thinking how many likes are you getting on an image. I feel like the way Instagram has become now, the way social media has become now, we're using uh, numbers as a way to pretty much um put ourselves on a certain pedestal which isn't actually the way it's supposed to be if people like your work if you're seeing high engagement a lot of numbers on your work that means people like it for a reason that means you're probably good you're probably skilled or you've made 
an impact on the person you've pushed an emotion in the person and we shouldn't let any of these numbers get to our heads because i mean if they take away your social media accounts if you're not a good person with our social media you're still stuck with not being a good person and if you have to go for an interview or you have to go into a social gathering where you need to talk to people and you just open your mouth and people just listen to you speak and they can predict this person doesn't know what he's saying or you have some bad attitudes that people uh when they listen when they listen to you talk they can sense these bad attitudes they're still not going to want to uh communicate with you have anything to do with you so it just boils down to you being a better version of yourself you having uh high quality skills that will make you get work and kind of push your career to the next level so now that's just one part that's how i will look at it so now let's talk about why you should want to get likes or why you should want to have comments or engagement on your social media platform now say you have an account that uh has 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers and you're getting pretty much a decent number of likes uh, a decent number of uh, comments and all that you're going to want to that if you are interested in that you might be approached by uh, certain companies regarding your niche so for art you might be approached by companies that want to um, run ad- adverts ads on your social media accounts so say you have a digital tablets company like say xp pen or huion or pablo you know any of those uh companies that make digital tablets they'll want to reach out to you and pretty much just make you market these tablets to your audience because right now uh influencer marketing is a better way to market devices market different things to an audience instead of just using the traditional way of uh tv and all the other traditional forms of advertisement that was done some years back so if you have a small account chances are that these companies won't reach out to you unless they're they're pretty much targeting micro influencers which are smaller uh influencers smaller accounts that have high engagement those are called micro influencers so most of the times you will see these companies reach out to pretty much uh accounts that have high engagement and a high number of following because they know that these guys uh have a higher audience so chances are if they uh, market that product to this audience there will be pretty much a decent number of sales so this is mostly the reason why i would suggest that if if you want to pretty much go into this route of say using your account to promote products and just being like uh i hate to use the word social media influencer but technically that's where i'm going at so if that's what you intend to do with your with your account with your art that's a big a major thing you should consider you will need to grow your account where you start having likes you start having a lot of comments and engagement on your account so for someone that uh is geared into pretty much having his uh account uh become some something that people can market on i think you will really need to look into uh getting more engagement on your account so for someone like that engagement is going to be really really important to that person but if you take a look at someone like marco dojevic who's running a studio who owns a studio he is (laughs) he's definitely not even thinking about that i mean everyone will like his work because he's so good he's insanely good but you know that he's not thinking about marketing a product on his instagram or uh how many likes how many comments he's getting on his instagram i mean he started instagram was it last year or two years ago and he was just posting images casually and they really weren't getting any amount of likes 
and people saw that oh hell this is marco dojavik and we have to really share his work because he's insanely good he's like he's like uh, a really big motivational figure to a lot of us and inspiring figure to a lot of us that are artists so organically his account just grew overnight and he became quite popular on instagram even though he's really popular elsewhere he just became really popular on instagram in a really short amount of time so you can see that someone like that isn't really going to be thinking about hey how many likes do i get on an image so that isn't his problem but if you're thinking of someone like ross tran or that's ross draws or someone like jazza or someone uh like my friend eric anthony now these guys are actually using their accounts to uh promote products and pretty much uh what's the word run adverts for companies and brands that reach out to them or their marketing team and this is definitely not a bad way to go it's a good way for an artist to be able to work for himself and for his uh with his instagram profile with his instagram account so there are just different ways that you will have to think about this and not just uh simply just tie yourself into this thought where uh you don't need likes or or likes are not important you do really have to think about what you want to do in the long run what is your own goal as an artist what is your own vision for yourself because what is what you want to become might not be what the other person other artists want to do in the long run so you have to think of you have to think for yourself what do i really want to gain from my account am i here for uh am i here to grow my instagram account to become approached by brands and all that or am i using my instagram account as a portfolio so i can share my art and i can show my art to people that intend to hire me to come and work in a studio or give me freelance work now people like that might not really care about your likes they don't they don't care about they're looking at the art especially they're looking at your talent they're looking at your skill to see what you can do with a pencil or with your digital art how you color that's what they're targeting but these companies that are running adverts these brands that are doing adverts online they are looking at the numbers so you really need to keep this in mind when you're pretty much uh building your building your social media accounts especially for beginner artists but first off before you even start thinking of any of this make sure your skills are in check make sure you're practicing every day practicing the fundamentals and pushing your skills to the next level each and every day i mean none of these brands none of these studios no one is going to hire you if your drawing is not on par with the people that have previously worked for the studios or the people that they're comparing your work against so you always have to keep this in mind when you're just uh building your instagram account or just thinking of what to become what to do with your art uh what you're trying to do with your art in the in the long run so these are just a little things that these are just some of the things that i think about when i am uh making art or when i'm trying to push my work to a broader audience this is pretty much some of the things that i'll keep in mind so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from this video and thank you to abdul for letting me use his uh story and just talk about this thing i saw on his story yesterday it's a really really important topic everyone needs to keep in mind and i hope you enjoyed the process of this image uh i'm going to upload it on instagram after this video and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new here and i will see you guys in the next video Now I gotta ride or die